Camp Lesson in, man, real quick. Try to get them spiritual juices flowing, that fire going, you know. Um, but before we get started, as always, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, the men, the men who rule well over Israel. Also the same men who taught us this truth. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect out there pushing the pushing this word throughout the corners of the uh, the round earth in faith, love, truth, sincerity, and diligence to those sisters that are listening and learning and to those that support the ministry, Shalom. Shalom. Um, yeah, we were just talking, man, before camp, man. I mean, before we set this up, that, uh, you know, it seemed like the most high what's going on or what's going to take place it well it don't seem like it it kills all that christian nonsense man because they'll be quick to tell you all men are created equal and all that bs man but that ain't nowhere in the scriptures as a matter of fact the scriptures say just the opposite man because the nation of israel the so-called blacks latinos and native americans man are the apple of the most high's eye man the rest of you nations ain't nothing man you know but spittle you know that's that's pretty much and bro that's nothing you know, it says you better drop a drop of the, uh, a bucket in a bucket. You got right. that? Can I get it for you? Go ahead and bring that out right quick, Bob. This, this second address, chapter six, and verse. Um, I start at fifty-five. Come. Oh, 54, because it started at Adam. You know, people just like to say, "Well, we all come from Adam." Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but shit. And Noah had three sons. They were all brothers. So, so what's your point? Right. You don't think, look, that's like if you got three sons, you can't pick your favorite out of them? Right. So what? That don't even make no sense to say, well, we all come from Adam. So that mean automatic equality? Hell no. Right. Even with the three sons theory, man, you can have a favorite child. Ain't nothing wrong with that. So, I mean, you know, all that nonsense about equality and all, man. Hey, we, the scriptures are going to clarify this, man. Uh, even even starting with Adam, it didn't even have to go all the way until Noah right. knew. It, it was uh, Cain and Cain Abel. Cain and Abel, he shit. Made I a mean, difference right there. Cain and Abel. <laughs> exactly. I mean, the Most High had already made a choice who was going to be the wicked, man. He already had Cain pegged to be who he was, man. Isaac had Jacob and Esau. Exactly. You know? See, he didn't just wake up one morning and then uh, Cain just started acting a goddamn fool. And the Lord said, oh, well, damn, I didn't see that coming. Right, right. No, it was all by design, man. He's been a separatist from the very beginning. You got it out. The second answer, chapter 6 and verse 54. <laughs> and after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. Well, hold on. There's a separation. It says we all come from Adam, including who? The people, go ahead. It says, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. That's a separation. Because if he didn't have somebody that he had chosen, he would have just left it from that, that uh, we all come from Adam. Shalom. But he didn't leave it at that. He said, and the people that are, that are chosen. So let us you know, somebody's chosen here. You know, go ahead, I you got it. It says, and all this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. Mm. It says, and as for the other people, which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing. Wow, hold on now, wait a minute. That's a mistra mistranslation. It's got to be, bro. Because, hold, you mean to tell me that the Most High, who you ignorantly call God, the Father of your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, said that the other nations are nothing? He said you nothing, man. So, I mean, if you can't tell, he clearly has a separation going on. There's something bad wrong with you, man, like the old folks used to say, you know? He called you nothing. If I call you nothing, I get me, I really, I don't give a damn about you. Right. You know, you got it. I think you about to hit him hard and say less than nothing. Uh, unless that's in another verse. But I'm 40. Is Isaiah 40? Come. It says, um, Come get it up. 
all this have I spoke, no, it says, as for the other people, which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing. Wait, all the other people who come from who? Adam. So yeah, you're right, we all come from Adam, but still, what's your point with that? That, it, that don't mean nothing. He just clarified, the word just clarified, yeah, we all come from Adam, you know? And that still didn't say we were all equal. Right. That still didn't say that we all on the same level. That still didn't say that he don't care about you no more. It still didn't say that he look at you the way he look at us. Right. It never said none of that. Yeah, we'll give you that. We all come from Adam. It's like, well, duh, you know, but shit. So now you got that, but explain where we all equal. After this says you are nothing. You got it out. Right. It says, um, Read that part again, Bobby. Come. As for the other people which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing, mm. but be like unto spittle, and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. That's that's nothing, man. If I'm carrying a bucket of water, which I've done coming living on the farm, carrying buckets of water, a five gallon bucket in each hand, going to save give water to the hogs or whatever, you know. As a couple of drops, or one drop or two drops, still 20 drops come out. I'm not fixing to stop and set them buckets down and try to sop the ground up to get them drops of water back and put them in the bucket. Right. It, that just, the shit just went away. It is what it is. Yeah, I mean, it's out of, it's, you don't even think about that. That's how insignificant that is. You just keep on going, you know? And that's, that shows you how insignificant you are to the most high as far as him loving you, man. That's cold as hell, bro. But what, what were we gonna say? Is there unrighteousness righteousness. with the most high for doing that? Hell no. Yeah, I forbid. This is his show, man. Yeah, most high forbid, bro. Shit, not a bit of uh, injustice going on. And then like it says, it has lacking the abundance of them. So a good multitude, abundance of heathens. A lot of people, he likened them into a small little drop. Yeah. Was the show, look, your life, one one of y'all lives ain't accounted for nothing, even that up to a multitude of nations, he still don't care about y'all, man. And it says, damn. Man. <laughs> <laughs> it says, uh, right, and now, O oh Lord, behold, these heathen. You get it right now? Isaiah 40 and 15. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as the small dust of the balance. Behold, he taken up the owls as a very little thing. He says, in Lebanon is not sufficient to burn, nor the beasts that are sufficient for a burnt offering. All nations before him are as nothing. They are counted to him less than nothing in vanity. Man. So he said, you less than nothing. Not only are you nothing, because, bro, what's less than nothing? He says, you already nothing, but then you less than that. Right. Bro, that's, a, that's, 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 that's an insult to the, you the hundred power. Yeah, that's like, you can liken that unto finances, man. Like, it's one thing to be broke, okay? But it's another thing to be in debt. You can be broke and be fine. Ain't nobody coming knocking on your door, ringing your phone and all that shit saying, where's our stuff? You owe us. But if you in debt, that means you owe, man, you know? So being worse than nothing is like being in debt, man. You worthless. So Esau Edom, Bokel, how does it feel to be worthless, man? You gonna find out when we get to the kingdom that all that y'all talked, all that you did, all that you said, was it meant nothing, man, and neither did your vain existence, man. Man. Just like it says, that vanity. That vanity. You are uh, extras in a movie. You just here to take up space. I, uh, it, it speaks about, scripture speaks about that, um, surely, um, vain is the, 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 the hills and the mountains that hope for salvation. Like right, somewhere around, around those lines. Like the heathen, some of them, that basically the Lord died for them. Uh, and this and that. Hey, that's, that's, that's far from the truth, bro. Hey, the Lord got a bone to pick you to. Right. It speaks about in what, Zephaniah? That, that he did help for the affliction. So why would the Lord come and save you? You help make the affliction of his people worse. Like, that don't make sense. And we was in captivity on you. Right? 
And then, hey, Jeremiah 30, 16 say, hey, all, our, all the, yes, sir, the yes, ones sir. that we were in captivity on have to go into captivity. So, how can everybody be saved? We, we gonna have y'all in captivity. Yeah, because if everybody's saved and everybody's a king, Solomon, bro, y'all about some more sacrifice. Uh -huh. If everybody's a king, then who the hell's gonna build a kingdom? If you got a kingdom full of kings and everybody's sitting on the throne, well, how you gonna get any work done? Somebody gotta be a servant, man, to build this place back up, man. Well, not here in America. This place is out of here. But you know, somebody gotta build our kingdom up, man. We're not coming off the throne going build kingdoms, working side by side with Yahweh Shai with a shovel in our hand. That's insanity, man. Got one for you. Go ahead. This Jeremiah 3 and 23, it says, Truly in vain is salvation hoped for from the hills and from the multitude of mountains, but truly in Yahweh our power is the salvation of Israel. Uh, so the uh, salvation going to be in here? For the Israelites. For Israel. Hey, the Lord always name dropping. That's why they try to come yeah. up with that replacement theology. Say right. whatever it say Israel is really talking about. No, nah, that ain't what it's saying. Even in Psalm 2, it said that uh, why did the heathen rage and the people imagine the vain thing? Hey, that's very vain to think that the Lord, right, who is an Israelite, died for you, heathen. Right? That has nothing to do with our culture, nothing to do with the law, statute, commandments, or nothing. So why do you need salvation? Right? Because we, we need salvation because we brought the law, statute, and commandments to the heavenly Father. Right. And we in a fucked up position. That's what and we need to be saved from this, from captivity. That's what Luke 1 goes into that. Yeah, from under the thumb of our oppressor, which is you, Esau. And then it says, truly in vain is salvation hoped for from the hills and from the multitude of mothers. Now what's that? That's these other nations. So y'all hoping to get part of our blessing, part of our mercy, that our Lord and Savior got some part of you is it's, it's pointless. Mm -hmm. He what said, truly in vain. You know? Prophet going to, he's not that with the prophet. Yup, yup, Baruch 4. And even Yahweh Shah said that the prince of Israel have nothing in him, man. And at the time, who was ruling? Esau Edom. So these nations have no part in our Lord Yahweh Shah. Hey, even Lazarus in the um, parable of the rich man and Lazarus. Remember, after the fact, he tried to get the blessings that Lazarus right. got. Abraham said, no, you got yours. This is for him. Well, the same thing today. You got it, bro. Baruch 4 and 3. It says, Get not, give not thine honor to another. Know the things that are profitable unto thee to a strange nation and what's profitable. Hey, the promises and you know everything that the Lord promised that He's gonna give Israel. And what Paul said, he said, What advantage have the Jew? Right. He said, in every way. Every way. You see above these different nations. Right? Yeah, we're not trying to share our salvation with you, man. Because if, if it was like that, if you feel like we have to share our salvation with you, then why didn't you lead by example, man? Why you ain't giving us a piece of the pie over here on this side? You know, you want everything, and then you still want it in the kingdom, man, but it ain't gonna happen that way. But like I said, if you so hell-bent on sharing and everybody's equal, why y'all ain't breaking bread with us here? Right. Lena, they got LeBron. They got LeBron James, huh? Got Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne got the money that guy anyway just fucking crumbs. Yeah, and it ain't even real money. It's not backed by nothing. Yeah, I don't know. I read it in Brother Bar to the precept on uh, Amos 3 1. It says, Hear this word that Yahweh has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family of which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. All right? So, right. That's, that's clear and cut. You know, the, the Mosai is dealing with the nation of Israel, man. All right? You know, you know, know. Oh, like, oh, go ahead. Right. Now, we read through the Rock of 28. All right? You uh, go through those curses. What nation, other nation, the people on this earth fit those curses? Okay? The so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man. Yeah, the small hats, none of that fit you. Right. You know, and, and, and you you saying, okay, that was written in. Well, what about now? Nothing's changed, man. You know, the most I don't change it pursuant to Malachi 3 and 6. I am the Lord, I change it not. 
Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. So we won't be destroyed, but if you ain't a son of Jacob, you won't be consumed, man. And no, like y'all say, Jesus getting on that cross didn't change a damn thing, bro. Because Jesus never got on the cross. But when Yahweh Shai got on the cross, that didn't graft you in. He never changes either. Hebrews 13 and 8 says, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. There's been no change. You were not included when this was written. It was never meant for you. The law, statutes, and commandments didn't apply to you. The blessings don't apply to you. Salvation don't apply to you. And that never changed, man. So what in the hell are y'all talking about everybody can get salvation? That's idiotic, man. You are directly going against what's written in these scriptures, man. And everything we didn't gave you, just, it's just standing right here. But not to mention the years and years of our elder apostles breaking this down for y'all over and over and over again. Never once did we say what we feel like, well, in our opinion, well, if you ask me, I think, no, everything has been solid scripture, bro. Everything that we've said, we can substantiate it with the scriptures. Right. We ain't making nothing up or winging it. Go ahead. Peter, up. He said, uh, it's not a private interpretation. Exactly what you said about that. Hey, hey, this all come from the Lord. We just, we just speaking this message. This fool going the wrong damn way. Babylon. I have uh, well, one more, the same verse, but uh, in the New English translation, when the brother once again, I have chosen you only from all the clans of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your sins. But how did it start? I have chosen you only. Reiterating everything that's been said out here today, and as far back as from when the apostles started all this, bro. And 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 the, and, the, and the apostles and disciples who, who were preaching back then. This was never meant for nobody but Israel, man. I got a quick one for you. Go ahead. Yeah, I got it. Go ahead. This is uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For thou art an holy people unto Yahweh thy power. Yahweh thy power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. And so, Yahweh choosing us, he's going to punish us as well because he didn't choose y'all for anything. What's he going to punish y'all for if he didn't choose y'all? We're right. the ones that he chose and he gave his laws to. We went off, so we get punished for it. Y'all, y'all had nothing to do with this. Exactly. And if we get punished, for going off, not follow, adhering to the law, statutes, and commandments given unto us, then it would only make sense that we only ones that's going to reap the benefits and get the blessings that the law, statutes, and commandments that these scriptures speak on. Y'all didn't partake in the, in the punishment, so what the hell make you think you're going to participate in, in uh, salvation? You don't want to be part of the bad times, but y'all all, all want to be, be, oh yeah, we want to be kings in the kingdom too. It don't work that way, man. But I had a quick one to back you because it pretty much say the same thing. This is uh, 1 Peter 2 and 9. It says, but ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation. A nation is singular, a peculiar people, that ye should shew forth the praises of him who had called you out of the darkness into his marvelous light, man. And all that is singular and symbolizes uh, uh, singular and it's, it's speaking of nobody but Israel, man. Y'all wasn't called out of, uh, out of no darkness. Y'all are living in darkness, man. You are the darkness. You created the darkness. Go ahead. I got one to back up because you kind of said that um, that these other nations, in other words, even in this world, if you don't deserve something, you ain't going to get it. You know, you know, how, you know, in the modern day, they want to give every, the children participation trophies. But the law don't even move like that. But like you kind of said, the only people who been through what the law was going to put his people through in order to get to the kingdom was the nation of Israel. Like I said, in Daniel, the ninth chapter, nobody else been, been through what we've been through. Right. Now, when you read 2nd Ezra 7, it paint a picture and say, look, if you don't go through this narrow path, you can never get to the to the, to the the wide. So seeing only us as Israelites went through that narrow path, what that mean? It's only set for us anyway. Like if, if I could get this real quick and I'm going to jump to Romans 9. This 2nd Ezra 7 and 9. It says, if this city, which is the kingdom and all the blessings, if this city now were given into a man for an inheritance, 
If he never shall pass the danger set before it, then how shall he receive this inheritance? So if the heathens ain't been through what we've been through as a people, how you expect to get the blessings we're going to receive? It says, and I said, even so, Lord, it's Israel's portion. So we going through that because why? The Lord set everything up for us. Now I'm going to go to Romans 9, who these Christians like to go to, Apostle Paul. Hey, just real quick. It was whose portion? Israel's portion. Okay, bam, that's it. That's so even, even the path wasn't made for our nations. Even if you even say you got a low down, two time loser Edomite who stayed in the hood with niggas, but you're Edomite and you went through what we went through. Even even that, even if you went through our plight and our toil, you still not gonna get <laughs> beamed up. Exactly. You still, still not gonna happen. Even if you was the worst Israelite, I mean Edomite ever, you still not gonna get them benefits we gonna get, man. Because ultimately it's for the bloodline of Israel. And any, anybody got this? This uh, Romans 9, I'm gonna start at 3. It says, for I could wish that myself were a curse for Mashiach, for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites. It says, to whom pertain them. Now this word pertain me belong to. So Apostle Paul said, his brethren according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom pertain them. So everything we're about to read after this, it belonged to the Israelites. But I thought Paul was Greek. He wasn't cutting for the Greeks. Yeah, Greek citizenship. What happened to the Greeks? I switched up on them. Damn, Paul. So, oh, that's a cut to vocab them. Ain't no spiritual Israelite. Because right. even in the, the old prophecies of old, in the uh, Old Testament, it says what? That the Lord will come save the seed of Israel, um, the bloodline, you know, the seed, the blood, the flesh. The flesh. That cut out being a spiritual Israelite. And when, you know, when Christ died, you got in. That killed that. But I'm going to finish it. It says, it says, who are Israelites to whom pertain of the adoption? So Yahweh Shai getting on that cross did what? Adopted the, the, the true believers, the true sons of the Lord back to him. But to tell you that that's only for us. You know, Gentiles, heathens like to say, well, we got adopted into Christ. We adopted. I'm a spirit. No, that's that right here. Says the adoption belongs to the Israelites. You might be adopted into Christ. Go ahead with that. You ain't adopted into Mashiach. <laughs> right, right. So what? Yeah, you adopted into Jesus. Go ahead and be that. Yep. You ain't See adopted into you. none of these blessings either. Right. The Israelites are considered a temple, mm. and we say about Moab and Ammon that they shall not enter into the temple. Mm. None, none of the heathen will come into the temple. Come. Where are they gonna come into this? Right, the house of David being built, you got no part in this. And what Ezra told him, hey, you have no part in this to serve our God. Um, hey, and Revelation Shalom. says that the outer court is left for the Gentiles anyway. So you got no portion in what we what we got going. None. It says, to whom pertain of the adoption and the glory, that's the kingdom, and the covenants, the first one and the second one. And what's the first one? Moses giving the laws to us on stone. What's the second one? Them being put in tools in the new bodies, right? So it says the covenants, now I tell you, the new body is only for Israelites then. Because the second covenant coincides with new bodies. Living forever, that's only for us. It says, and the giving of the law and the service of the Most High. Now how you serve the Most High? Being a priest or a minister, a prophet. So only the prophets, priests, and all that could be, uh, got to be of Israelites. It says, and the promises, and whose are the fathers, and as whom concerning the flesh, Yahweh Shai came. Ooh, so Yahweh Shai came only for Israelites. And whose are the fathers, the Most High blessed forever, you know? So why is this not coming out in the church? In the so-called church, it's a lot. Go ahead, because y'all can't handle the truth, man. And uh, back up uh, to our vibe, and to, how you call it, to put down this replacement theology, I got uh, Romans 11 and 1, I say then that the Most High cast away his people, God forbid, for I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. And I'll tell you right there, Paul wasn't, even though he was, uh, what, spoke Greek yes, and yeah, all that absolutely. stuff, and that don't mean that he was a Greek, he was an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. He's telling you himself. And he also said what? I'm of the seed. That go that word, man, that right. flesh, bro. He wasn't adopted back into the spirit. Read that again. I can say it the seed, bro. I say then that the Most High cast away his people, God forbid, for I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. 
Yeah, the only way you're going to be a seed is through the flesh, bro. So that kills, kills a multitude of nonsense. From y'all being grafted into the virgin birth. Joseph made Jesus dead. Get the hell out of here, man. Y'all got this thing? Uh, Acts 5 and 30. The God of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shah. He will be slew and hang on a tree. He'll have the most side exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. So yeah, that, that's showing you that the Lord, all right, who the world calls Jesus, okay, his name is Jehovah Shah. He's the savior of to the nation of Israel, man. All right? No other nation. Okay? Come on. Y'all got that, man? Go ahead. Uh, Luke chapter 1, verse 68. Blessed be the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, power of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people. And just to land back on what the brothers are going into, uh, this, the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, you know, he's only going to redeem his people. The Lord's name, Yahweh Shah, means to redeem. He's the Savior. What he's going to do? He's going to buy back his people. He's going to bring us back into that, that, that second covenant, like the brothers are going into. Right. Yeah, it said uh, to give repentance and forgiveness for sins. All right, so what is sin? Okay, sin is the transgression of the laws. All right? So, so uh, Psalms 147, you know? Who the laws, the uh, statutes and commandments given to? All right, <laughs> uh, Israel, man. All right, the only people on the earth that have a chance of repentance, man. We were given the law, statutes, and commandments. All right, the Most High gave it to us, uh, you know, above all these other heathens, man. All right. Son, this is uh, Psalm one forty-seven and uh, verse nineteen, and it says, "He showed this word unto Jacob." His statutes and judgments unto Israel. He had not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. So it's saying he, he everything is going to Israel. He showed it all to Israel, Jacob, which is Israel. But as for the other nations, man, he ain't never dealt with no other nation like that, man. Right. And he didn't show you, he didn't show you his judgments. So if you didn't get shown the judgments, that means you're not going through the punishment that we had to go through. And if you didn't get shown the judgments, and if you're not going through the punishments, what the hell make you think you're going to be able to reap the benefits of the kingdom? Now you try that bullshit in Esau's uh, his kingdom and see where that gets you. Oh, I didn't go to school. I ain't do nothing. I ain't put in no work. But I'm going to fill out an application. I want to be a doctor at this hospital. Are you crazy? <laughs> Everything that you asking for is just the opposite of what you do. And again, like I said a minute ago, if you so hell bent on sharing, why the hell you ain't breaking bread with us in this kingdom, you wicked rat bastards? You got a place in the kingdom though, buddy. You cool believe that. That's right. And you gonna be a, yeah, you'll never ain't gonna be no unemployment officers in the kingdom. You're gonna be working 24-7 and getting your back beat. This is uh, Hebrews 12 and 6. <clears throat> to back the brother up about the chastening. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. If, so, you other nations, y'all haven't even gotten anything close to what we got it. Uh, not yet. Yeah, not yet, not yet. If ye endure chastening, the Most High dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is whom is he whom the Father hath chastened not? But if ye be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then are ye bastards and not sons. Uh. The rest of you nations are bastards. Y'all are illegitimate. Y'all have no right to claim any uh, any stake in this. Exactly, man. Y'all are totally contrary to what the scripture has written, man. Because everybody out here, if you got a son, it's been a point in time where you had to put something on his ass, man. My sons are grown, but if you ask him, yeah, he done lit our ass up like the 4th of July. 
yeah, I, I was sitting there going, damn, it, 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 it does, it hits you because we are compassionate. But I can't just let you just run all willy-nilly and do whatever the hell you want and not punish you. That's what, yeah, exactly. That's why we in this predicament, man, for doing silly shit. So, y'all have anything else? All right, so we're going to go ahead and end it with that, man. Uh, pray that this lesson was edifying. And uh, as always, we're going to close out by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh. Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakhak Kadash. Kadash. Until next time, Abba Rajasai, Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.